We celebrate today the memorial of the guardian angels. In the Christian tradition, each human being has a guardian angel directing that person to always choose the right path, even though it might not always be the easy part. The English word angel comes from the Greek word angelos, which means messenger. And this messenger is both a guardian and a protector and also is a messenger from God. So these guardian angels are the ones who direct our course of life. Some might call it the conscience. Some might call it my own mind. Some might call it my meditation. No matter what terms we use, the memorial of the guardian angels is saying to us that our God is not merely a God in the heavens. Our God is not merely a God up in the sky. Our God is a God who is Emmanuel and God with us. Our God wants to live our lives. Our God wants to show us the way. Our God wants to direct our paths. In the gospel text of today, which is chosen for this memorial, the disciples of Jesus come to him and ask him, who is the greatest in the kingdom? And Jesus doesn't give them an answer, but brings before them a child and makes that child an example of greatness. At the time of Jesus, children were neither to be seen nor heard. So when Jesus brings the child, what he is doing is, he is bringing a non-entity before the disciples and asking them that if they want to be great, they must be non-entities. Which means they must deny the self. They must count the self as nothing. They must regard others as better than they are. That is one aspect of bringing the child in front of them. The non-entity because he or she has nothing of his own, can only be dependent on others for everything. And that is the quality which Jesus asks his disciples to learn from the child, namely dependence on God. Too often we might depend on material and external things, but those material and external things are passing, temporary and impermanent. What is always and what is permanent is God. And so if we acknowledge our dependence on God like the child acknowledges his or her dependence on the parents, then we are on the track to heaven. The memory of the guardian angel is telling us that God wants to direct our path if we will let him. When we are caught between two options, one is doing the wrong thing and one is doing the right thing, even though the wrong thing might seem to be more advantageous to us, even though it might bring us more of a blessing, we need to ask ourselves what our guardian angels are saying to us, what our conscience is saying to us, what our mind is saying to us, and we will realize that no matter how difficult it might be, we are directed to do the right thing. On this memorial of the guardian angels, let us ask each of our guardian angels, whether we call it conscience or the mind, to direct us along the right path, to choose the right path, the path of humility, of dependence on God, and of always doing what is 